Hello and welcome back to the Gazelle Lab. This is Anthony. Today I have the Nokia N8 against the iPhone 4. So my last review I had the N8 against the Desire and you guys all know about how, uh, how many times I reviewed the Desire and the Desire did come out on top and today I have it against the iPhone 4 which the Desire obviously in my opinion has beaten before as well. So let's see if the Nokia can uh, can take it on. So let's get into just, uh, let's do it this way. Start with the N8 first. We'll get into some design and form factor and some size. So like I said before, this is 113 by 59 by 13 thick. thick. So it's a little bit thicker. You can tell it's got a nice little bit, but the hardware is very solid. Uh, and it's very nice in the hand. It's got some good weight to it. It weighs 135 grams. The iPhone 4 over here, over here is 137 grams at 115. So it's a little bit longer by 56, so it's a tad bit, uh, not as wide. And this thing is only uh, about nine millimeters thin, so it's pretty much the thinnest smartphone out there. You can tell, you can see that right there. So hardware, you have the Apple port, Nokia small pin. Uh, both have the home menu keys here on the bottom. Uh, on this side, you have the micro SIM. Over here you have the USB micro, micro SD and SIM card. Uh, on the other side on the Nokia you have the ca dedicated camera shutter button. Uh, unlock, lock the phone. Uh, it's like a toggle switch right here, which is not bad. It's nice. And volume rocker. And on this side you do have the volume rocker and the lock switch over here. Oh, this is the mute, mute sorry. So the top uh, 3.5 power button but the Nokia does give you that HDMI out which is nice for uh, viewing stuff on your on your HDTV so let's get into some connectivity we have uh, these are quad band GSM both of them the the Nokia w will give you uh, T-Mobile 3G support which is nice uh, HSDPA 859, 900, 1700 1900, 2100. So pretty much this thing can be used anywhere. While the T-Mobile, well the the iPhone 4 only supports uh, 850, 900, 1900, 2100. Pretty much you can use everywhere but T-Mobile here in the U.S. on their 3G network. Uh, display. The the iPhone does I think have one of the best display, displays. This Retina display, which is 640 by 960 pixels, 3.5 inches. It's fantastic. It's crystal clear. Uh, Nokia is not it's still it's 3.5 like the iPhone but the resolution is 360 by 640 so it's not that great of the display the menus and everything still look a little bit cartoony to me I think and the home screen and the UI that's a different story that's just a mess I'll get into that in a little bit uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi GPS pretty much standard now on all smartphones these days uh, cameras so you got the 5 megapixel shooter with uh, light flash HDR photos in the iPhone and then on the Nokia you get the Carl Zeiss 12 megapixel with autofocus xenon flash one of the best camera phones I think on the market or not probably the best camera phone on the market right now uh, processor on the Nokia you have an ARM 11 680 megahertz processor 3D graphics hardware acceleration which makes gaming pretty pretty good the games do look nice but it does feel like a little a little laggy I don't know why Nokia would come out with a phone new smartphone to compete with the likes of Galaxy S, HTC phones, and the iPhone that all have one gigahertz processor. This is still a little bit laggy compared to the iPhone. This is the Apple's A4 chip, which I've covered before, which is uh, pretty quick, almost pretty much on par with the Snapdragon Hummingbird processor. Uh, like I said, they both have GPS. Nokia does give you that uh, the TV out as well as Apple gives you will give you TV out. DivX support on the, on the Nokia is nice, so a lot of multimedia f features, a lot of hard, good hardware features on the Nokia, but where Apple dominates over Nokia and Android dominates over Nokia is the OS. The Simeon 3 is just a nightmare to use. Uh, being a long time Nokia fan, I'm, I wanted to love the N8. I've used N95, N82, N86, E72, and then I switched over, started playing with Android and iOS, and this, the Symbian 3, this revised Symbian 3, is just, it, 
it's like the dumbest smartphone I ever used. It just everything takes long. It just there's no there's no accordion uh, there's no accordion mode in portrait. So it just takes a while to type messages. You have to go through four different screens to get somewhere. It's just not that intuitive for a smartphone, I think. And I'm not bashing on Nokia, and I've loved Nokia. I've used it my whole life. I just, I want to love this device so much because I love the way it looks. It's a real so head turner, and it's got solid uh, hardware. feature with the, the cameras. You can take a quick look at the camera on the iPhone. So I think it's a pretty good camera on the iPhone. It's not bad for five megapixel. So let's take a look at that picture. It's nice, pretty nice and clear. It's pretty good. The Nokia does take fantastic pictures. When I was using it outside, it was pretty, it was really good. So this has a dedicated camera key up here. Uh, let's set the mode in here. Sometimes it has, I noticed it has pictures of trouble adjusting to light, bright lights and stuff, but the picture quality is really good. If you can get a good one. So there's, yeah, the picture quality didn't even come out great over here. So like I said, the one thing that was the best thing about the N8 was the camera. You can't even take a decent quality pic with these. I got some bright studio lights in here. So. And it's having problem auto focusing. But normally the, the camera on this is fantastic. I don't know why it's acting up right now. Yeah, it's just blurry and everything. Well, it's typical Nokia, nothing working right now. So, either way you look at it, the iPhone, it just kind of de destroys the N8. I really like the N8 hardware and everything, but like I said, Symbian 3 just doesn't do it justice. So I hope you enjoyed the review. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Gazelle Lab. Uh, just with the latest tech news, everything gadgets, just follow me at Gazelle Lab on Twitter. Hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks.